Hello everyone. How's everybody doing today? Well, we have rain in the forecast, but we have this somewhat smaller field of corn that we need to get down. And uh, so I put two harvesters in this field. And if the rain holds off, we will get it harvested. Uh, now, for those of you who are new to Farm Simulator, harvesting is about the only thing that you can't do when it's raining. You can't harvest. Uh, you can do everything else. You can do anything else you want to do. Uh, I can't think of anything that you can't do. Uh, except harvest. You cannot harvest when it's raining. So, uh, keep your fingers crossed. I don't know when the rain will start, but uh, this field is 100% fertilized and it's got a 98% yield bonus attached to it. So we should get a pretty good crop out of this small field. So anyway, with that being said, uh, we're going to watch this guy when he returns around up here. Uh, make sure he turns the right way. And if he don't, then we'll we'll get him on the right right path. But uh, uh, like I say, if things go right uh, and the rain holds off, uh, we'll get this done, hopefully, before the rain starts. So, let's make sure this guy gets turned in the right direction. And, uh, yep, looks like he's going to. And uh, we'll uh, go get in a grain cart. And we'll start chasing them. Okay. I know I've told you guys this before. Uh, it looks like nothing is being put into this uh, grain cart. But if you look at that plate, it's expanded metal. And the compartment down below is filling up first. And that's why it doesn't look like the grain is accumulating in the grain cart. Uh, I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, it's a dual auger cart. And uh, it'll fill that bottom up first before it starts accumulating on top of that uh, expanded metal plate. So, anyway, looks like our guys are doing a fairly good job. If that rain will just hold off, uh, I believe we can get this done. But, uh, you know, my, <laughs> my grandpa used to say, if you didn't get a job done or it wasn't going right, he'd say, well, you ain't holding your mouth right. <laughs> I, I'm still yet today trying to figure that one out, but uh, that was one of his sayings. You ain't holding your mouth right. So uh, we'll see what we can do here. See if we can hold our mouth right. But anyway, we'll just keep chasing these carts and uh, our harvesters, not carts, we'll keep chasing these harvesters. And uh, hopefully we'll get her done. All right, while we're waiting our harvester to get back up at this end, uh, we'll jump out and look at our field. And it looks like it's gonna need lime and because the harvester is taking down the whole stalk, uh, we're getting the 50% fertilized state. 
uh, which is great. Now, one thing that we will have to do, this is a corn crop. And remember, there are four crops that we have to plow the field uh, after we're done harvesting. Uh, one of them is corn, one of them is sugar cane, uh, and the other two are root crops, which is potatoes and sugar beets. Those four crops, when you get done harvesting, you have to plow the field or you will take a big hit on your yield on the next harvest, on the next crop. So uh, that's just a given. That's the way it was in FS19. That's the way it is on FS22. And uh, so we'll be doing that. Uh, but what we will also do is don't forget, we must mulch this field. And we will do that before uh, we plow. I know it doesn't make any sense. But if we want that 98% yield bonus, uh, we're going to mulch this field. And then we're going to plow it. Uh, Anyway, I mean, that's just the rules. That's, uh, you know, and we all have rules that we have to abide by if we want the outcome that we want. You know, it's, uh, uh, again, I say we have to. No, no, you don't have to. You know, it's just like things in everyday life. You don't have to do anything. Uh, we don't have to, to mulch the field. Why, we don't even have to plow it. We can come in here. We don't even have to put lime on it if we don't want to. Just come in here and cultivate it, put the seed in the ground. But now that's not going to do us a whole lot of good when it comes yield time, is it? <clears throat> so, that's what, uh, that's what we got to do. And that's what we will do. So... Anyway, these guys are making short work of this field. Uh, well, just keep your fingers crossed. And, and as my grandpa used to say, keep holding your mouth right. And we'll get her done. All right. Well, this guy is finishing up uh, his last little bit of a row. Uh that I give to him so whenever he finishes that we'll take him over and get him started helping the other guy uh, and it won't take him too long the other guy's <clears throat> almost done with his pass and uh, or with his section but I think we'll just take this guy over and uh, let him help. Now I wanted to show you, uh, you see these little paddles down here on the end, on the back side of this header? Those are called stalk stompers. And what they do is, you see how these stalks are bent over? Well, they do what they're called. They, they stomp them stalks. You might ask, okay, well, why? The answer to that is corn stalks are rigid. And whenever they are that short, uh, they are even more rigid. They're hard on tires. Uh, so they put these stalk stompers on there and it, it stomps them. It, it uh, bends them over and uh, makes it to where they're not as hard on your harvester tires. Makes your tires last longer. Uh, just a little tidbit. I, I didn't know. I know that there's a lot of you out there that know that. Uh, some of you don't. 
Uh, but it's just for your information. All right, we'll go back. We've got him started, and we'll watch him uh, because he's turning toward our other harvester. And you know what that means. Yeah, we've got to watch him. So uh, we'll run down here. We'll get in the cart. We'll keep an eye on them harvesters. And it looks like with a little bit of luck, we're going to get this done. All right. Well, we are just about to get this field taken care of. Uh, yes. I'm probably, oh, maybe one or two more passes with each one of these harvesters and we'll have this field knocked out and we did it before the rain so uh, <laughs> yeah we lucked out uh, hopefully uh, you know it's getting late in the evening uh, on the farm so hopefully uh, it'll rain during the night and uh, you know maybe the sun come out first thing in the morning and everything will be great uh, and then we never know how long it's going to rain it could rain for five minutes it could rain for all day and all night we don't know uh, but anyway uh, our main concern right now is to get this corn out of the field and we're going to do that uh, we're getting close enough now that I've got to be concerned here uh, <laughs> now you see you see what's going to happen now. If we would leave these harvesters, uh, yeah, they would crash. Uh, guaranteed, run up on top of one another and just crash. So, but we're not going to let that happen. Uh, we'll pull this guy off the line uh, as soon as we get up here and give the other harvester the right away he can he'll harvest that piece of a swipe down through there and uh, and we'll keep them from crashing but anyway I think we'll call this a video uh, we'll let the rain come and get over with and probably tomorrow we'll start fresh on getting this field prepared and replanted. If you've liked this content, please give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, subscribe. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything at all. You just get a notification whenever I post new content. That's all it does. Uh, if you'd like to share this video, please do. Uh, someone else out there that you know may enjoy this uh, kind of content. They may enjoy farming, watching farming. Uh, yeah, please share it. But as for me, the dirt road farmer, until tomorrow, thank you for watching.